Dangerous heat ratchets up this weekend and beyond. Definitely the hottest days of summer so far. We could be breaking records within days. Now that's why we conducted our own heat experiment today. Meteorologist Justin Stapleton wanted to show the danger of being locked in a hot car. He was in the car for nearly an entire uh, newscast. We want to stress he did this with the supervision of experienced medical personnel. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez was there for the whole thing as well, and she is joining us now with a look at how Justin did. And Haley, Justin's temperature went up nearly five degrees, we understand. His pulse, by the way, more than 30 beats per minute. Yeah, it was actually astonishing to watch with every degree that the temperature inside the car went up, so did Justin's temperature. So that just goes to show that our body temperature really mimics what the temperature is. Now, the doctor would not allow Justin to stay inside the car for more than 30 minutes. We started with a cool air conditioned car, turned it off, and watched how fast the car temperature rose. The car temperature got up to 105 degrees. Justin's temperature, like you mentioned, was 102.8. The doctor said that he had to get out. The numbers are staggering. Children dying after being left unattended in hot cars. This year alone, there have been at least 11 deaths nationwide. But what effect would the heat have on a healthy adult? Take a look at this time lapse that shows Justin Stapleton sweating and flushed within minutes. Yeah, I, I can tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm like sweating from top to bottom at this point. Um, it does. It feels like a sauna is probably the best way to describe it. And then, while sweating, Justin says he felt a chill. Dr. Judy of Next Level Urgent Care said it was a sign that his body was entering dangerous territory. The chill is one of the signs of heat exhaustion. Uh, you can get kind of goosebumps. Uh, it seems weird, but at this stage, obviously, you wouldn't expect it. Uh, it's just his, his sympathetic, his um, adrenaline kind of kicking in. Uh, from the stress of all this. With doctors carefully monitoring his vital signs, Justin was taken out of the car once his body temperature reached 102.8 degrees. He was inside the car for 30 minutes. All right, Justin, come on out. I'm going to take the temperature inside the car. Woo! Okay. Yeah, it's hot. How are you? <laughs> No, no, I'm okay. But I, I was, I was starting to definitely get a little dizzy. Um, you know, and like I said, I've, I've run a, a, enough years to know that's the start. Whew, yeah, I can breathe a little better out here. We cooled him down with ice packs and cold water to help reduce his body temp. Okay. The temperature inside the truck was 105 degrees. Yeah. All right, Justin. So, you know, what's even more shocking is that this car got up to 105. I took the temperature of cars that were in our lot earlier today. It was mm -hmm. 150, if not higher, in the cars that had been sitting in the sun all day. So, tell me, what was it like in, in a car that was 105? Well, as I mentioned, I think, you know, the sauna was probably the best way to describe it at that point. If you've ever been in one, you know, the, it feels like the, the heat kind of pushes down on your chest at that point and breathing becomes a little more labored. What I mean by that is, is that it takes a little bit of extra effort to get that breath as you're going out and and that's where the problem was and at the very end right before we stopped here I felt that cold chill and that's kind of when you know okay something's wrong here that's exactly what the doctor said is a sign of heat exhaustion which is on its way to heat stroke which is deadly so we're glad that you're safe Justin of course we did this under medical supervision for now I'm reporting live outside of the channel 2 studios I'm Haley Hernandez KPRC channel 2 news